Rorin Ozoro is one of the members of the Strafart Pirates, and he's one of their strongest members. Zoro was the very first crewmate they Monkey D. Luffy recruited for his pirate crew. He is also the first mate of the Strafart Pirates. Zoro was introduced to us very early in the series. He was a prisoner of Helmeppo, and Luffy saved him, which later led to him joining the Strafart Pirates. Zoro's origin has never really been focused on in the series so far. This is pretty similar to the rest of the characters who have hailed from East Blue. We don't know anything about Luffy, Nami, and Zoro's origin. We did get information about Usopp's origin, and thanks to Whole Cake Island, Sanji's past is now completely revealed. But just like every other member of the Strafart Pirates, Zoro's past will definitely hold some significance to the story. I'll explain what I think Zoro's past is going to be. As many of you may have guessed, Wano is going to be Zoro's arc. Not in the sense that he'll gain some legendary powers, or something like that. I'm talking about Zoro's story here. We'll get to know about Rorino Zoro's past, and his connection to Wano country. Oda definitely likes foreshadowing, which is why when he was asked about what Zoro's nationality would be in the real world, he said Zoro would be Japanese. The Wano country is based off of Japan. Now, we know for a fact that Zoro came from somewhere else. He suddenly showed up in the dojo at East Blue one day. I think what happened was, Zoro's father was a famous samurai of the Wano country, and possibly a descendant of the legendary samurai Yuma. While he was a child, Zoro's parents likely died, leaving him all alone. Since Zoro's father was a proud samurai, he wanted to follow his footsteps, and become the world's strongest swordsman. Rather, he wanted to defeat the world's strongest swordsman, which happened to be Hawkeye Mihawk. Zoro probably left Wano in Mihawk's search, but being the idiot he is, he got lost, and the next thing you know, he was at East Blue. This is exactly why he suddenly showed up at the dojo, and asked for the strongest swordsman to face him. Zoro has a connection to Wano that we will find out about soon. I think his father will also be revealed as either the son or the grandson of the legendary samurai, Yuma of Wano. Yuma himself felt like there was some sort of connection to him. We just have to wait and find out what the connection actually is.